Hello, good afternoon, good morning and good evening. So wherever you are, you are watching Global Success Stories Facebook Live. Welcome to the Global Success Stories. Today I have a special guest, it's Claudia Vidal from USA. Welcome to all of you. Uh, can you also let me know whether my screen is, does it look uh, is upright or it looks on another side? I'm not sure from this position. Give me a comment so that I, I would be able to understand, yes, uh, my screen is how. Hi, Claudia. Hi, good morning and good evening. Good morning. Over there, <laughs> how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for having me here today. Thank you. So uh, I was wondering whether the screen is, uh, does it look okay to you or how it yes. looks? Perfect. Okay. Yes, but, perfect. But, how about my screen? Yeah, what happened actually, the screen sharing did not happen. I thought the, okay. so it should have been half 50-50 of the screen. Uh, okay. So anyhow, still it's happening, but you're, you, you look small uh, on the screen. Okay. On me. <laughs> okay. I guess that's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry for it did not happen. So thank you for right. watching. And those who are just joining with me, I see a lot of, a lot of people are joining right now. Hello, Shari Arvai. And uh, Asli, how are you? I see uh, Devabrata Datto and Sanjay Basu. Welcome to Global Success Stories. If you are new today, today to this program, just let me tell you what this program is all about. Global Success Stories is all about bringing the successful stories, rather successful people from all over the world. And I am interviewing all the successful people one by one, and I wish to cover 100 countries by 2018. The reason I'm covering these successful people's life stories is because to understand why they are successful, how they are successful, what they are doing it differently, what are, they take, what are the actions they're taking differently, why we can't be so successful as like them. And I believe that with these successful stories, there is something to be inspiring. And I believe I am inspired personally by watching, by talking, and by understanding the successful people's life. And I hope and believe that all of you, those who are watching, you would get something out of their life. And I am, I'm, I'm sure that that will help you to realize your potential and your dream. Every one of you, you have a greatness within you and you can be great as well. You just need to believe in them, believe in yourself. So I'm, I'm sure with these successful stories that I'm bringing across the world, it will help you to understand who you are and what is your purpose of life and what you are doing are you really justifying your potentials, your talent? My whole mission and objective is to help you to inspire who you are and what you can be. I'm sure that you have potentials 100 times better than what you're today. I'm sure you already, all of you are successful on, to, some, to some extent, but also I'm sure that you have 100 times more scope in your life that you can be more successful, more impactful, and you can contribute to the whole growth of humanity. That's what the potential is. Without further delay, let me introduce my wonderful guest who is waiting there, Claudia Vidal. Claudia is an author, consultant, and at the same time, she is pursuing a postgraduate certification in holistic integrative psychotherapy. And she is currently on a mission to help individuals gracefully walk through the journey of enough. And today we are going to listen from Claudia. What is her journey? What is her mission? Why she is taking, taking this mission on earth? What is the reason behind it? What's really inspired Claudia? Welcome to Global Success Stories. Thank you so much once again for having me. Um, this is a great opportunity and I wanted, I told you this personally, but I want to once again tell you that you're doing an amazing job, an amazing mission. And I do believe that you will hit the goal, probably exceed it. You're going to have more than 100 <laughs> um, success stories. So I just want to say thank you for doing this because I am one that believes that 
we can create change one person at a time. Um, most people tell you, no, um, the world is the way it is. There's nothing you can do. Uh, I don't believe in that. The biggest transformations that have occurred through history, it was because one mind. One mind mm. decided to uh, take action, and then it created a mastermind of wonderful minds. And then you had, you know, a collaboration, a community. And um, just wanted to take a second to thank you for doing this. Uh, and yes, um, you introduced me well. I, I am an author. I'm a consultant. I am um, a little bit of everything. <laughs> I consider myself yeah. a multi -talker. Please, yeah. Please take it through. <laughs> Who yeah. you are? Who is Claudia Vidal? So who is Claudia yeah, Vidal? So besides, besides the titles and, and uh, the experience and everything else, I am a human being who is invested in helping others. When I see myself, I see myself as an empathetic person, super compassionate. I am Miss Sensitive who cries when she watches the movie. I am the person who can't sleep if someone is um, stressed out about something. I, I just connect with people at a human level. And I think that is the secret to living a fulfilled life because all the other stuff is secondary. It matters, you know, money, um, businesses, uh, even the books, everything else is secondary. It's a byproduct of just living your life in, in a compassionate sense. And um, that's who I am. I remember when I was in fifth grade, I was awarded uh, to be the peacemaker of the school. And at the time, I didn't know why. I, I took the award, but I, I didn't understand. And now, 21 years later, I understand why. And it was because my whole life, I've always been about bringing balance. It's always been about seeing the best in the worst of situations. Um, I've learned to look at someone's eyes and see beyond everything that is labeled within that person per se. So beyond the bad, beyond the decisions, beyond I can see through their eyes and say, this person has potential. And you said it perfectly. We are all, we are all meant to do great things. And sometimes we get sidetracked. Sometimes we get, have support system around us and we go through a lot of adversity and, and trauma and things that just doesn't help. And that makes us believe that we're not enough. It makes us believe that we're just not lucky, that we're not um, this, you know, we just don't have what other people have. Yet, and I mentioned this in my book, when you watch a movie, when you listen to a song, or when you even hear a success story from someone else, you feel those butterflies. How many times you haven't watched that movie like Pursuit for Happiness or something that really impacted you, or even heard a song like I Believe I Can Fly, and you feel it in your bones. And that is your inner self. That is that inner drive telling you you are enough. You are this person, but you don't want to see it. Or you can't see it because of all the views that you have. So that's who I am. I'm all about removing the layers. Mm -hmm. I did it myself personally, and now I'm helping others remove them because once you take away all those labels, all those veils, the skin. Oops, uh, she's lost in the meantime. Let me see. Just wait a second, I can. The connection dropped. Uh, I'm hopeful that she'd be joining again pretty soon. Due to the net internet connectivity, probably it's been lost, but she's also joining me back hopefully soon, very soon. So as you are listening that uh, Claudia, okay, uh, I got her. She's appearing on the screen. Uh, thank you so much for your passions. Yes, you are back. Oh, thank you. Working now? <laughs> yeah. So, yes, you were talking about uh, the journey of an app. I was curious. Hello, Claudia. It is your. Yes. Uh, it is your uh, another camera that is showing. Probably the front camera right now is okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay. That's okay. Okay. So I am I'm a little bit interested about to have your background, you know, before we dig down the our main part. You know, how you had your childhood, you know, how you have grown up and what really made you who you are today. I think a lot of the past that has contributed eventually because all why I want I'm interested about to have this story from your uh, from your past is because a lot of us the viewers or maybe a lot of the people who thinks that success is very easy maybe they think maybe maybe i also think that success comes very easily so why not i'm successful why not why someone else so would you mind to take through your journey from your childhood to now and what really motivated you what really inspired you what you have gone through and why this journey of enough of course so um i i was born and raised in new york and my mom migrated from dominican republic so she didn't know english she didn't have any money um my father wasn't around at the time he was very young so he left uh when she was pregnant and she had to figure it out um she raised me not knowing where she was going to find the next diaper where she was going to find the next can of milk so complete poverty states which people don't come to the US. was and experienced poverty and that's what we went through um she told me there was times she had to um just skip meals for me when i was a baby um she doesn't understand how i became a healthy baby because she didn't even give me the complete formula she had to dilute it with like two times the amount of water just to make it last sometimes she left me with the same diaper for over 10 hours just to make it last so we ate warm up food she told me by the time i was 8 months i was already eating eating um heated up food uh for 3 days just to keep going so it was this poverty and and this desperation and and the fact that my dad was in around and then she left her two kids my old, older brothers in the dominican republic back home and she couldn't bring them here it was all those aspects that drove her to a mode of desperation and what she did and how she channeled that energy was by becoming very angry towards her kids especially me because i was the oldest of the girls so i was constantly getting um hit i was constantly getting yelled at she was so consumed in her own world that she couldn't see past that and and me coming home with a report card that said that i had an a wasn't enough you know it was like i don't have time for this go wash the dishes that's that's how my childhood was you know so it you know i never got a hug i never got a congrats i'm so proud of you and i was this little girl so excited that i used to get straight a's and that love school but yet i didn't get that feedback and that's the only thing i ever wanted and it didn't matter i got it from the teachers the teachers believe in me i had some friends some family members the only thing i ever wanted was for my mom to look at me in the eye and say i love you i'm so proud of you you are a great daughter i never got that from her so what that did was that because of the psychological and, and physical abuse as well i got i went through a trauma where i just felt like i was a piece of nothing believe it or not i felt like i was this person that didn't deserve success didn't deserve um money didn't deserve love um and i thought i had to earn it even when it came to dating when i was a teenager i had no idea about dating because my mom never really spoke to me about it so here i am in high school boys want to ask me out i have no idea how to deal with it and all i wanted was to be loved so bad that even if the boy was a bad boy i didn't care mm. i just said sure i'll go with you <laughs> whatever <laughs> so it was that bad um and it wasn't until i turned 18 that i went through a major identity crisis and when i say identity crisis it was because i hit who i was so deep that i no longer recognized myself i wanted to fit in so i went to a school where most kids were so superficial and it was all about where we going this weekend and i became like them it's crazy i became that person that would sit in the courtyard and talk about all the superficial stuff when deep down i was yearning to share who i was which was my love for life my love for metaphysics my love for um school education i couldn't share these things because if i did then i would be considered a nerd what would be consider um you know like i'm sorry again 
the connectivity has been lost. This is what the